Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's J Dot the Jammer. We're back again with the Moto Z Play from Lenovo. Um, this is the international European version. So if you're ordering this in London from the Motorola website, this is what you're gonna get. Um, I did a little unboxing about it yesterday on my YouTube, so go and have a look at that if you want. Um, basically just shows you what comes in the box and like my first initial thoughts of the look of the phone. Um, and in terms of what comes with the phone as well. Look at all those fingerprints. Um, but yeah, so it just shows you that. Um, but today we're going to do a little one day or like a day later review. Because I've been using the phone for a day now. And a couple of things I've noticed. A um, couple of things I didn't like. A couple of things I did like. So I'd like to share those with you. Now, for those of you that don't know about the specs just yet. you got a 625 snapdragon processor in there not the fastest but not the slowest so you're looking at something mid-range with speed um apart from that you got three gigabytes of ram you got 32 gigabytes of storage you got a 16 megapixel camera you got a little water repellent coating and from what they claim <laughs> motorola says that you've got 50 hours of battery 50 hours of battery because it has a 3,510 milliamp hour battery within this phone. That is why the phone is so thick. But um, that, that battery is serious, guys. I mean, I'm going to give you some figures right now. Got the phone about, what, 10 o'clock yesterday. Motorola were kind enough to give you... They give you full charge in the phone as well. So they charge the battery up to 99%. Um, I only just charged the phone this morning at 33%. And when I looked at my screen on time, it said six hours and 30 minutes. So, um, I'm, I was good with that. <laughs> I mean, I, I was good with that. With my OnePlus 3, I usually get about four hours and a half maximum. But I had six hours and a half with this phone, and I still had 33% left to play with. So, um, that was one of the main selling points of this phone. Um, that battery life is ridiculous. I can't wait to use it on a long day and see how long... It really lasts. But um, yeah, let's get into the phone. So what can I say? Camera. Um, camera. Camera's a bit of a letdown for me, to be honest. I mean, coming from the OnePlus 3, I felt the camera on there was a lot better. Um, just in terms of quality kind of thing. This camera seems a bit slower. That might just be to do with the mid-range processor. But um, I mean, this camera's all right, I guess. But, uh, I mean, yeah, can we zoom in on that? Yeah, this camera's all right, I guess, for a 60 megapixel. But as you can, okay, probably that's a bad picture. It's quite blurry. And so is that one. Where are all the clear pictures? Oh, okay. It's just my focus on the camera was quite blurry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so as you can see, the pictures come out quite all right, but they're not as sharp as the OnePlus 3 photos. So um, if you're not coming from a OnePlus 3, you probably won't care. Um, and to be honest, for purposes of Snapchat and Instagram, it actually doesn't matter because once you upload the picture, the quality gets downgraded anyway. So um, that's a bit of a picky thing for me to say, but it's just something that I noticed personally. Um, also, another thing, fingerprint sensor, as you can see, works real cool. Like 3, 2, 1, blam! 3, 2, 1, blam! It also turns it off and turns it on. So that's quite cool. Um, but yet again, if I'm going to be picky, it's not as fast as the OnePlus 3 sensor. It's about probably a 0 0.2 of a millisecond slower. So nobody cares. But it's just something I noticed. I thought I would tell you about that. Another thing I just realized is that the camera on the front also comes coupled with a front facing flash. So, you know, when you stalk your ex-girlfriend, you outside her house in the dark, you want to take that young selfie with the light on, you know, you can do that. It's all cool. Um, performance now, that's Snapdragon 20, 625 with that 3 gigabyte of RAM. I I literally don't know. With going through the user interface, I don't notice a difference, honestly. I actually don't notice a difference. As you can see, it's quite fluid. Look at that. It, it's fluid. And in terms of multitasking, look, we're there. Look, we are there. I don't even know how long ago I had this webpage open, but we are there. Go into Instagram, scroll that. Okay, oh, what was that keyboard, though? Yo, what was that keyboard, though? Yo, can man get that keyboard, though? Okay. Nah, we're going to have to talk, fam. Like, what is that keyboard? 
Okay, god damn. But yeah, so um performance, you know, on Instagram is calm. I mean, let's go to what? What other basic bitch apps have I got in here? Let's go to Twitter. You know, okay, Twitter's taking a bit of a while to load there, but um, you know, we all in. It's all good. It's all good. We're gonna go back to Instagram right now, because it's still in memory. We're gonna go back to Chrome right now, because it's still in memory. We're gonna go, you know, let's go, let's load something. Load something. Moto G3. There we go. No, wait. No, we're back on Instagram because we quick. We quick like that. You know what I'm saying? We we quick. I mean, you want to see Snapchat, obviously. Snapchat acts up on some phones. Let's see the performance of that. Okay. Oh, it's me. Wait, look. There you go. There you go. Let's, 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 let's see how long does it take to load something. There you go. It's all there. Wait, no, put that down. It's all there, guys. Taking a bit long to load that. But that might be my internet as well. Look, it's it's all there, guys. It's cool. But then we're back again on Instagram because, you know, it's still in memory with just a free gigabyte of RAM. Performance, it's all cool, guys, as you can see. Um, fingerprint sensor, calm, 1080p screen. A lot of you care about that. I don't really care. 1080p screen looks fine to me. That gets to a point where you just don't care. As long as it looks clear when I'm watching a video on YouTube, then it's calm. Um, yeah, connect. Performance, connectivity, front flash, external SD card. Apparently, it goes up to two terabyte. I never even knew you could get two terabyte SD cards, but um, if you can, send me a link in the description below. I'll have a look. Probably realize that I can't afford it and keep scrolling onwards. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's got the motor mods, it's got that ridiculous battery, and it seems to be an altogether dope phone. I mean, let's go into still a bit more performance. I mean, let's get that. What games we got in here? We got have we, have we got that emulator on here going down? We're, we're, I can't remember the emulator. Ah, drastic. We got it. No, let's just let's just load a game. Load game. Updating Dame Cash. Oh, there we go. Let's see if this works. Oh, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. There we go. We in. Well, I can't hear no sound right now. I think that's because I put this on. There you go. There you go. It's all there. <coughs> oh, okay. Let me just let me just turn that down before. Oh, okay. 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 Let's turn my notifications back off. It's going crazy right now. Um. Yeah. There we go. Let's. Okay. Back. Back. But yeah. Um. All that emulators working fine. Gaming's fine. Performance is fine. Wi-Fi is fine. Bluetooth is fine. Clicks to my snap watch and everything like that. NFC, wireless payments and everything like that. It's all there, guys. But the only thing that's giving me a problem is the camera at the moment. But as long as you, you know, upload into Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, it's not really going to be a problem for you. With that ridiculous battery, nothing is going to be a problem for you. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. And let me know if you're thinking of getting the Moto Z Play or the Moto Z Regular or the Moto Z Force. Um, because, okay, wait, guys, can I just make a disclaimer? I really hate this. Like, look how, look how flimsy this is, yeah? It goes on the back and it just... Can you hear that? No, I'm not even sure if the camera's picking it up. You guys probably think I'm crazy right now. Can you hear it? how it's just sliding left to right? It's, and there's like a little gap here. Like, what is this gap? It just it just flicks off. So, nah. That, I'd rather have it like this, but obviously these fingerprints, since these fingerprints are just like, ugh. Ugh. But yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. Thanks if you already have. I'm going to be doing a full review of this like a month later, hopefully. But this is just the day later review. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. J Jamo. Out.